Welcome everyone online. We're here from Hot Shot Secret and Lubrication Specialties. Welcome you into our 69th episode here. My name's Josh Steinmetz. I have Eric with me as well. Yep. Special episode today, Josh. Special. Um, first of all, I haven't been on in a long time, so some of you might recognize me. Josh, on the other hand, is completely new. He's a new face popping up on the show today. We'll get into to that in a bit, but um, Josh is... is with us for the foreseeable future. We're excited to have Josh on board. He's joining the LSI team. But like I said, we'll talk about that in a minute. First, uh, we got some, some Facebook Live basics we need to cover. So um, first off, dual streaming on Facebook and YouTube. Um, as always, be sure to like and share the video and uh, go jump over to YouTube or Instagram and give us a like and a follow there as well. We got all kinds of good stuff that we're putting out. Um, so Josh, what are we doing? What's, what are we talking about in today's video? Well, it's going to be a short episode, but we're going to have some fun with it. A lot of people are out of the office today, so we yeah, thought, I think well, we just... Uh, I think it's you and I and Levi and um, the warehouse. That's about it. About Pretty it. much everybody else is out of the office. Aaron's today. over in marketing right now. Yeah. She wanted to be on the show, but... Aaron. Uh, Sorry, Aaron. Yeah. But. Um, oh, by the way, hope everybody had a great Christmas. It's day after. That's why nobody's here. Right. Yeah. You have a good Christmas? It was good. Busy. All day. Morning till 10 p.m. Running family stuff all day long. How about you? Yeah, not bad. A uh, little eventful, but yeah. everything was okay in the end. So Good. All right, Josh. Uh, what, what else we got going on? Okay. Um, like I said, going to be relatively short. Um, I'm going to introduce you to myself, a little bit about myself, mm -hmm. a little background. Uh, we're also going to take a sneak peek into our uh, how-to series, a new set of videos from our video team. Um, yeah, we've been talking about the video team for a while. Uh, for a couple months now, we're sitting. We don't have a backdrop up yet, but we got the new new set, new studio. We've been filming, and uh, a how-to series is something we've been working on. And we got to give everybody at home a sneak peek at one of our videos coming up. So that's going to be exciting. Yeah, and then uh, as always, we have our giveaway, free and product, free product. And I took the initiative and told Josh we're going to let him decide which product we're going to give away today. Since he's new, he we make him make the call. So that, that should be interesting. Yeah, yeah. I guess stay stay tuned on that. Right. One. Yeah. Let's, let's keep it a secret for now. Yeah. Uh, so Josh, we got uh, the rest of our Facebook, what we call our basics. So what's going on in the world of web and retail? Okay. Um, in the uh, world of uh, retail, Tractor Supply still has their uh, five dollar off on Stiction Eliminator, the sixty four mm -hmm. ounce. Uh, great deal. It's. Uh, now through uh, December 30th, so. Yeah, two quart jug, five bucks off, tractor supply, go yeah. go grab it. Go grab it, yeah, exactly. And I um, want you to uh, go over the website and uh, look at our uh, email newsletter to sign up towards the bottom of the page as well. Yeah, um, we are. Uh, getting ready to, well, um, this morning I actually just published a blog, uh, first, yeah. thing, first assignment for me basically on uh, diesel anti-gel. Uh, the product and uh, about how gelling occurs in diesel fuel and mm -hmm. um so josh is uh we keep teasing this we'll get to josh in a minute but he's he's joining our uh, digital marketing team so he's going to be heading up like he's just talked about We're, we got a new blog out we're going to get back on that train start pushing these out more frequently so um head to the website sign up for the newsletter so you can stay in the loop get all of our newsletters our specials exclusives things like that uh let's see we got who's in we got kyle kyle's watching what's up kyle um hope you're enjoying your day off uh ryan what's up ryan ryan riddle you'll meet ryan he's an odss driver he killed it this season took home i think two championships out of the uh, odss series excellent uh troy kennedy saying uh-oh what's the matter troy you don't have faith in josh and i <laughs> um aaron sorry aaron Christian's watching. How you doing, Christian? All right. Uh, next up, we got dealer shout-outs. Josh, who, who, uh, who are we shouting out yeah, today? Yeah, um, we got a couple here. Uh, starting out in the state of Georgia, Washington, Georgia, Max uh, Mechanic Shop. With uh, two X's. Yes. Max's Mechanic Shop. Yeah, yeah. Max's. Yeah. Wicked Diesel out of Bedford, Virginia. That's a cool name. Yeah. Wicked Diesel. Wicked cool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, out of the volunteer state, uh, Gary or Gary's uh, equipment repair mm -hmm. uh, must be a good diesel shop down there. Yep, and, good old uh, Tennessee. Yep, 
and uh, diesel truck stuff out of Killeen, Texas. Okay. And another one from Texas, uh, Brookshire, zero tolerance diesel. Texas represented. Yeah. Big, it looks like Levi has state, a big diesel state. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Levi's got the become dealer for him up. Um, if you own a shop or you guys know somebody um, and, and somebody local you want to be able to pick up our products from, uh, let them know. We, we have a, a authorized hot shot dealer network so they can join, join the team, get exclusive pricing, and, and offer the products to the public. So if you know somebody, tell them about our, our dealer program. Absolutely. Um, and we don't have any decals this week, but we I don't know if you have the camera on the wall. It's starting to fill up pretty well. Um, we, we're going to continue to do this. So dealers, if you're watching, you got stickers you haven't sent into us yet, make sure you do. That thing's going to get, we're going to plaster that whole wall. Hopefully um, by mid next year, that whole thing will be covered. And what's going on on uh, TV this weekend, Josh? Well, um, got some Truck U episodes on Saturday at 1 p.m. Um, uh, highlighting the uh, FR3 product. So yeah. our friction restrict or uh, reducer. Reducer, yeah. yeah. Yeah, restriction, yeah. Yeah. You know, it reduces it, actually. And um, on Sunday at 10.30 a.m., um, one on the uh, Stiction Eliminator as well, which kind of the original product of yeah. Power Shots. It's the, the guys at Truck U. So on Motor Trend Network, check yep. that out. So, guys, um, Oh, Kyle's saying he's got more decals in his office. Um, next week, we'll grab him for next week. Yeah. So, Josh is in marketing. I'm in marketing. We're not in R and D. We're not tribologists, but we know the product. So, if you got questions, make sure you post them. We'll, we'll try to answer them. Um, and it might be a good chance for you to put Josh on the spot, see how well he knows the products after. What's it been? Uh, two weeks? Is this week two for This it? is week two, yeah. yeah. So. so he's still fresh. So if you want to test his product knowledge, shoot some questions in. We'll see if he can answer. Um, so like I was saying, let's, let's talk a bit about you, Josh. You're joining the Hot Shots team, uh, our digital marketing team. So we'll be um, helping out a lot on the digital side. And am I remembering correctly, you have a agriculture engineering degree yeah from ohio state from ohio uh, state i did a lot in the power machinery system okay. which would be like your mechanical engineering mm -hmm. type so hydraulic systems and engines and drivetrain and so forth that was kind of my expertise oh, okay yeah i see right here power machinery systems yeah nice. it's a mouthful of a degree <laughs> <laughs> i'd say um and you came you have a, a big history in the tractor pulling right tractor truck sled pulls yes uh, sled pulling as a lot of people refer to it uh, with the National Tractor Pullers Association and um, I was there for uh, 10 years um, Levi's getting up on the screen it looks like here pretty soon the uh, the rig I drove around well one version of the rig at least mm. that was the uh, um, wow. version uh, 2.0 at the beginning uh, built that six years ago and that uh, giant thing on top is basically a huge TV screen. Oh, wow. 13 by 18 foot. So I uh, had to get a Class A CDO to drive it and uh, all that fun stuff. But we did a lot of video work out of there. So um, I'm normally on the other side of the screen, not on this side. Right, So right. it's kind of a, yeah. a difference for me. Um, but had a lot of fun doing that as well. And It was NTPA, right? NTPA. National yeah. Tractor Pulling Association. Yes. For 10 years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fresh out of college, so. And you did all kinds of traveling, right? I mean, where's NTPA? They, they have They're, events all over the country. Um, eastern half of the U.S. mainly. Okay. So Ohio, Indiana, Michigan is our hotbed. And we go out to, uh, down to the um, Carolinas and up to Minnesota and Iowa as well. So uh, mostly on the eastern half of the U.S., but... Uh, a okay. lot of uh, events throughout the year, and uh, did you go to most of them? Most of the I events? went to uh, about thirty-five national events throughout the year. Wow! So from May to October. So that's about I don't know about <laughs> double what our event schedule is. Yeah. With ODSS and UCC and some of the events we do, we we probably hit about fifteen, maybe twenty events on the year. So mm -hmm. you're you're traveling quite a bit. Yeah, it was a, a unique opportunity at the time, and this opportunity came up and just seemed like one that was a. Uh, be a change of pace and yeah. a little different so okay so you, you operated this giant video board yeah. right so you're sitting in the truck do you have the you know the the big i don't know what you call it the, the operator board i mean are you pulling up the graphics and the text and so a lot like what levi's doing we were uh 
putting a full video production together. We were switching uh, three, four cameras, putting graphics over with the scores and the distance and wow. sponsor information. And we also started live streaming as well a couple of years ago. So this is, you know a little bit about this. I know a little bit about this. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. We're looking at doing a little bit on here as well, just to kind of tweak some things up and freshen it up yeah. as we go. But. Yeah, we, we we'd welcome suggestions. Um, that's a, a, a big thing for us in 2020. We're going to do more on Facebook Live. We're going to try to get more guests in. We're going to evolve the show a little bit, add some new uh, segments, if you will. Um, and we're going to pick Josh's brain and, and try to make that happen. So everybody watching, if you have ideas, stuff we can do on the show, um, let us know. Send them in. And we'll see, social media, I got notes here says you, you did a lot on Facebook and social media. Yeah, pretty well was the driving force behind their social media effort. So uh, started with that almost 10 years ago as well and on Facebook just itself and kind of grew that um, with daily post and so forth. So uh, look for probably some more video content out of us as well, working with the video department on getting some more stuff out. Okay. We try to you know uh give you guys something to look forward to every day or you know a little more uh, yeah. content okay what uh what was your favorite thing about ntpa working with the um, tractor pole well working with the uh, polars themselves yeah They're great family yeah so, um 10 years i bet you got pretty close to everybody right a lot of the same faces a lot of the same faces a lot of um uh, multi-generations too in mm. that sport uh, that reminds me um i remember when you first started you were telling us about some of the sponsorships that you had worked out and and uh, one of them was stainless diesel, right? Right. Johnny Gilbert. I don't know if you're watching. Johnny's with stainless five blade mafia. Um, so you, you got experience with some of the people we've already worked with. Exactly. It was a lot of crossover and a lot of the same uh, type of people. Uh, I've worked with Johnny's wife, Amy, quite a bit yeah. on uh, everything that we've done together. And, okay. Uh, they uh, sponsored a video series for us on Facebook. So that was real nice. nice. It, you yeah, know, yeah. It was a good exposure for both mm -hmm. companies. Yeah. They're a great group of people over at stainless diesel. Um, so if you guys got questions for Josh, shoot him in. Um, he might show up on Facebook Live. We'll see if you feel up to it. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> if we can talk him into <laughs> it. Uh, let's see. Troy asks, Josh, will you be growing a beard to rest the to rest to test the FR3 yeah. beard oil? Uh, I don't think it'll work, but I can no, try. No, you can try. I can try. Try a TJ a little, beard. Yeah. Um, that's, I don't know if Josh is hip to the whole FR3 beard oil thing. It's been kind I, of. I heard it yes, or last you? week when I, I snuck in real quick to kind of listen. Okay. Yeah. Did it start, Levi, was it uh, April <laughs> Fool's? Started out, Levi put some stuff up on uh, a unicorn <laughs> FR3 beard oil and it kind of <laughs> took on a life of its own with TJ <laughs> running that show. Um, of course, all, all of our fans, they like to input on that. Um, so Troy, we'll see if we can talk Josh into growing a beard. Thomas asks, uh, here you go, this is a good question for you Josh, see yeah. if you know the answer yet. He asks, can you use FR3 in a small engine? And if so, what's the treatment ratio? Yeah, you can use that's it in question. any oil, really. There's a beard oil. Yeah, there, oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so FR3 in a small engine? Yes, because it works with any oil, mm -hmm. but the treatment's just the same as any other. Uh, so you just look on the back of your bottle to see what, yeah, what it so is, and I'm, I won't quote it off the top of my head. One and a half ounces per quart of oil. There you go. Um, now these small engines, if it's two cycle, things like that, still you'll be fine. Just use a tiny, tiny bit. Um, we usually say no more than 5% of the capacity, of the oil capacity. So um, sometimes that's simply just taking a cap full, right, and dumping it in. So. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You can use it in small engines, uh, hydraulics, your power steering, um, all kinds of stuff. So FR3 is uh, vital to a lot of our oil products. Uh, matter of fact, we so we blend them in our motor oil, our transmission fluid, uh, gear oil. So yeah, FR3 is no problem there. Um, let's see. Christian actually answered Thomas, said, yeah, uh, I use it in my lawnmower and in my four-cylinder motor in my Jeep. Treatment ratio, one and a half ounces per quart. She, she's on it. She is. She's on it. I think All that's right. about it on comments so far. Keep keep them coming, guys. Let's see if they don't trust our I guess not. knowledge. They don't yeah. want us answering questions. I guess they don't. I guess probably the other part that 
you guys were interested in or we got interested about was my uh, agriculture background as well. I come from a family farm. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. So uh, looking forward to giving some input on the agricultural side as so well. So trucks, did, tractors. Did you grow up on a farm? Yes. Big we farm, hobby farm? Har- hobby farm. Um, okay. Not a whole lot of, not a real big farm, but a grain farm. So we... Grain farm. Yeah. Okay. So no animals, you know. No livestock. No livestock. We're just... Okay. So be able to get away for the night and not have to worry about taking care right. of the animal kind yeah. of thing. But, you know, it's it was fun. Definitely. Uh, that's See, that's a good point, Josh. That's something else for 2020. Um, it's that time of the year. We're talking 2020 all the time now. Uh, have been for a couple of months. But agriculture, that's going to be a big market we're going to try to get into next year. So with Josh's help, hopefully we can be successful there. Uh, also, RV. We've been talking about that for a while. We've got RV products coming, so that's going to be another market that we're going to have to kind of jump into, and, and hopefully we can hit the ground running as soon as we get our products out. Um, so Josh is going to be vital to the to the ag side of things, so we're excited for that. Uh, okay, Josh, so um, like you said, we, we've been talking about this whole video department we had, right? We've, we've had this thing going for a couple months now. Um, we, they've been working on all kinds of stuff. We, we mentioned how two videos, they're working on a whole new standalone series called Fuel Your Mind, which is deep dive into diesel and everything diesel products, uh, lubrication, where diesel comes from, how, how it's processed and refined and all that good stuff. So um, they're, they're working on all kinds of stuff. One of the things that we're most excited about is the how-to video, uh, videos. So they've they're got a whole bunch of them they're already working on um, and we're gonna start populating them in the, in the coming months. But um, we wanted to take today, um, Greg, uh, God bless Greg, he's, he's doing great work. He's been in the editing room for weeks now working on these videos. Um, he's working on one uh, right now that we're gonna, we're gonna give you guys a sneak peek. We want you to check world it premiere. out. Yeah, we're, <laughs> world premiere, that's right. Um, but uh, the one we're gonna show today is just a simple kind of oil change on our shop truck, our 14 Duramax. Uh, but we got a whole series of videos on uh, on the shop truck, the Duramax. It's a 14 Duramax. Uh, we got a, a power stroke that was in here. We did some videos on that. We got some Cummins uh, we'll be working on. So we're, we're covering all the main uh, categories first, the, the three big diesels, different years, make some models. And then uh, maybe we could talk them in to get some small engine stuff in here, maybe some of the European stuff, because Josh, we are coming out with European oil. Um, so hopefully we can get some videos done on that. But it's going to range, the videos that we're going to be putting out for the how-to series is going to range from mild, the real simple stuff like changing your oil or changing your, your air filter to some of the more complex stuff, doing transmission work and, and things like that. So um, we have, like I said, we got the, the 14 Duramax oil change video that Levi's going to get ready for you. Before we do that, uh, let's check comments one more time. Kyle said to, to Troy, he said, just wait for FR3 infused grease. So that's the other thing. Uh, yeah. we, we mentioned all these new products we're coming out with, right? Grease is on the horizon. Uh, R&D, Kevin, they've been working with companies trying to find um, different kinds of greases that we can work with. And grease is huge in, in the ag market. Everything. I mean, it's every day almost on some, yeah. some pieces of equipment, so that's a real key piece to that it's market. exciting. I know one thing uh, they, they kept talking about is uh, fifth wheel grease, um, which was interesting to me. But Yeah, on semi-trucks, they use right. it between, yeah. So I don't know, their R and D is always doing something, so we'll yeah. see what they come up with. Uh, do they ever get a day off in R and D? No, they don't. <laughs> They're not here today. <laughs> yeah. They're not here today, but they're probably out, you know, field testing. Aaron probably <laughs> took some F R three and dumped it in his car and he's hot rod down the highway or something. Who knows? Yeah. Um, so Troy Troy back to Kyle said, Yeah, he was he was testing the new guy. Um, can't wait to that infused grease on the 69 in the show. It's sitting dry, waiting for that. And the RV slide spray for window regulators in the 69 car. Yeah, Troy, so that's part of our RV line that we'll come out with is slide out lube. Um, and, and Josh, you don't know Troy too well, but he's, uh, it, Troy always chimes in. Um, Kyle said he's gonna get his top fan badge revoked, <laughs> but Troy's got a, a America's Garage, right, Levi? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Troy, He's, uh, he knows everybody here at the company, but anyways, back to the how-to video. So, um, 
we got Levi. If you got the video ready, what's what show everybody the short clip of the uh, 14 Duramax or Hot Shot shop truck uh, and Tom Perini doing a, walking us through an oil change. Tom from LSI Garage. I want to do a short video today on how to do an oil change in a 2014 Duramax. We have our shop truck in here that we're going to be doing it on. Uh, right here is a few tools that you need. Uh, just a metric wrench, an oil filter wrench, and we're going to be using our Blue Diamond full synthetic PAO oil on our truck today. Not everybody's going to have a lift. You can do this in your driveway just as easy. This is the nasty part here. We'll let that drain and come back to it. Okay, we're ready to go back underneath the truck. Take your oil plug, clean it, make sure that the gasket's still in place, and uh, wipe it off real good, make sure there's no dirt on the plug. Tighten these up with a nice medium pressure. There's a torque on everything, but not everybody carries a torque wrench, so I'd say 25 to 35 foot-pounds, if you can tell. Move over to the oil filter, which is right here above the dry shaft, front dry shaft. Take the oil filter wrench, adjust it to the size you need. Reach up here and break the filter loose. Turn it slowly and until the oil starts to come out. And we'll have to let it drain for just a second. And I can get the filter on off here. This is where it's good to always keep a couple rags handy because it wants to run down on the cross member and the dry shaft and everything. That way you don't get your driveway dirty and get your wife mad at you. Okay, once the oil filter's off, always double check to make sure that the gasket did not stick on to the housing up there, because if you do, you're gonna have a, a mess when you go to start it. So just make sure this gasket has stayed on the filter, and we'll let it drain for. Okay, before we get ready to put our new oil filter on, take a clean shop rag and wipe off your housing up there, and. Make sure there's no dirt or anything on it, and then we'll get the new filter ready to go on right now. On a lot of engines, guys will, they always want to fill up the oil filter full of oil, clean oil, before you put it up on. But on a Duramax, it goes on at an angle like that, so we're really not able to do that. You always want to take and make sure that you put a clean film of oil all the way around the gasket up here before you put it on the engine. That makes it easier for you the next time you do another oil change for the filter to come off and it also keeps the gasket from sticking on the block or on the adapter for your oil filter. Filters are, they go on, so you snug them up and then one additional turn. You don't want to over tighten them. Wipe everything off with a rag, make sure it's clean underneath here. So when you start it and you check it for leaks, you'll notice if there's anything fresh leaking out. So clean up your area. Get it tight, and then we'll run the truck down. Top it off with, this one will take 10 quarts of motor oil, and then we'll be, we'll be done with the oil change part. Alrighty, we got our truck back on the ground now. We're gonna fill it up with oil. Get the hood opened up and get it ready.
cap off here in the center. Ours has a special cap on it because we have the Franz filter installed on it. Okay, before we go any further, our shop truck happens to have a Franz filter on it. I will show you how to change it right now before we go any further. I got it tucked in the front bumper up here in a real nice place, away from all the elements. It just has a, a knob on this clamp, this V-band clamp. Take the can, clean shop rag, wipe it out real good, let it drain for a minute. And now we will continue with our oil change. Okay, we're gonna start it up now. We got the oil back in it. Check it for leaks. Always check the oil pressure, make sure the oil pressure comes up. All right, we're good. Leave it set for a few minutes and we'll recheck our oil level. Franz filter looks good too, no leaks up here. Okay, we've done our initial run. Check for leaks, no leaks found. Let it sit for a couple minutes after you shut it off before you check your oil to make sure all the oils ran back down in the oil pan. Showing full. That will conclude our Duramax oil change. Thanks for watching our video. Yeah, there you go. That's yeah. pretty good, right? Yeah. Not bad, still in editing, Greg's still working on it, but that kind of gives you an idea of what we're going for there. So um, kind of get the feel for it step by step, tell you what you need, how to go through the process. So like I said, from simple stuff to real technical stuff, we'll do the whole, cover the whole spectrum. Um, now I do want to say that the, the whole idea with the how-to series, you know, we get all kinds of questions in. People call our, our technical support line, 800-341-6516. Uh, um, 
So call, give us a call, talk to TJ, Diesel Don, all of our great staff over there. But we get all kinds of questions in all the time, not even related to our products. So people will call us and they're just having uh, simple truck issues or they got, I'm getting this black smoke, what could it be? And, and whatever issues they may be having, people will give us a call um, and we're always happy to help. So um, the how-to videos is, is, you know, like I said, people come to us with questions, so we want to be able to put some stuff out there that people can reference if they're um, trying to, to do an oil change, for example. So um, hopefully yourself or somebody you know can uh, find these videos useful and use them as a reference as we kind of populate them over the next couple months. Absolutely. And also got the Diagnose Your Diesel available right now on the, on the website as well. That's so huge. If you guys haven't seen our Diagnose Your Diesel page, go check it out. Uh, you can find it on our top of our home page it's diagnosed diesel and, and it's got you can plug in um, problem codes uh, look for symptoms by your by engine type by truck um, all kinds of great info on there so that's yeah Josh go he, it's a good point check out diagnosed diesel if you haven't it's one of my favorite parts of our website something I don't think we was thinking about talking about at all but uh, something I thought that be real neat for people that haven't heard or seen it yet is the um, for the uh, D-WAG or your uh, diesel anti-gel mm -hmm. winter anti-gel um, the project farm video oh I, yeah I know we've been talking mm -hmm. you guys have been talking about it but uh, we put together a real quick link on the website as well if you put in hotshotsecret.com slash um, project farm oh, really? it takes you straight to the video so if you want to see that video a real quick way to, nice. uh, to do that um, takes you straight to the YouTube That was such video. a cool video for us. It was. And uh, the guy who did a real good job uh, from someone with a, an engineering background, he mm. really covered it very technically well yeah. as well. It just wasn't some guy out in his garage. Right. You know, I mean, it was a guy out in his <laughs> garage, but, but he took a scientific approach right. to it as well. It wasn't just some random test. I thought he did a real good job being fair to every uh, we every brand and, you know, yeah. kind of give everyone the same opportunity to shine. Mm -hmm. And we still get comments all the time like, hey, you guys, did you see this video? You guys rated number one and um so that was a cool video for us to be a part of although indirectly you know we didn't talk with the guy we didn't ask him no. to feature or anything like that no. it just, just happened uh so that, that was really cool but i see tj's watching uh tj you should be in here in the office a certain kind of how-to video you want to see let us know shoot us a message on on facebook comment on one of our live videos let us know what you guys want to see and we'll make it happen we uh got the Swift in here. We got access to all kinds of vehicles. We got employee vehicles sitting out here that would love to be worked on, I'm sure. Yeah, they can change my oil for me. It's yeah. getting time. Right. So like I said, at the, at the top of the show, since Josh is new, we're going to give him the, the call on products to give away today. So what, what are you going with, Josh? Everyday diesel treatment. Ooh, EDT. Kinda, you know, to me, that's like if I had a diesel engine, I drive a gas car right now. It's not my preferred method of transportation. <laughs> for but now. It's, for it gets A to B, right. you know. Um, before I was driving a lot of miles, so it made a lot of sense. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's a grocery getter. It's, uh, right, but, yeah. You know, uh, but uh, for uh, anything diesel, the EDT is the way to go. Um, you know, helps with the lubricity and helps uh, raise your cetane. And uh, if you got a, an older vehicle as well, um, just you just can't beat it um even a new vehicle but i i really think of older vehicles and the smaller diesel stuff mm -hmm. um i ran a generator almost 24 7 at times at my old job and i could think having that in there which i did use a treatment um as well be great for protecting that equipment yeah absolutely so, any diesel engine doesn't have to be truck right exactly. generator yeah, yeah whatever it is so yeah, that's a, that's a why boat, it's my choice though just i'm just saying man that's the, All right, the so perfect, perfect item for diesel. Josh said it. We're going to give away EDT. Real quick, though, Josh, I got a, a question from uh, Christine. She asked, I'm assuming because of the video, we had a France filter plug mm -hmm. in that video. That was nice. Uh, how often do you need to change the O rings on the France filter? Well, I believe it's just one if I remember the product properly. Mm -hmm. But it's every time. It actually comes with the uh, the kit when you get your, your uh, filter and it gives you an yep. O ring as well. So every time service. you change the, the, the media. So, yeah. and we got two different kinds of media. We have a synthetic and a cellulose, which can go different intervals. So depending on how often you change that, that's when you want to change that over in. All right, Josh, who's our lucky winners today? We get two of them. All right, let me go through here. And For on. EDT. EDT. Mm, 
Let's see here. How about I not pick Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> or Aaron. Or Aaron. <laughs> well, it might be fun to give her <laughs> some. Um, let's go with Thomas. He, uh, he made the comment about the small engine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yep. And... Uh, and let's see here if we can find one more. Uh, Ryan Rydell. Oh, yeah. Ryan Riddle. Riddle. Yeah. All right, Sorry. Ryan. Yeah. You got a couple ODSS championships a couple yeah. weeks ago. We'll send you out a bottle to, to yeah. go with them. How does that sound? I don't know. I was just scrolling through the names here, and first one I seen it was not Kyle or Aaron. So. Yeah. No, Ryan will appreciate it. Yes, he will. He runs a product anyway, so we'll just give him a little bit extra juice for, for a couple weeks. Um, and then I want to pick one, too. Josh, I want to okay. uh, pick Mario. Mario asked about the Stiction and the FR3, oh. if you can use them at the same yeah. time. So, Mario, we'll, we'll get you a bottle all too. So, um, Thomas, Mario, Ryan, shoot us a message. Uh, we'll get you some EDT sent out. And if you guys want to give Josh a hard time, you want to pose him some more questions, whatever it is, be sure to tune in next week. Um, we'll... we'll if you got questions for him, we'll try to pull him back on air and have him answer. But yeah, I'll be around. You know, it's kind of my kind of my job now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, so, anyways, as always, remember to to like the the Facebook page. Go ahead and share this video, and uh, we'll be in next week. So we'll see you guys then. See ya.